Hi YouTube, Rob here again, but this time with a with a book review or a few books to review. Now this was uh, given to me as a Christmas present. I had asked for this, and my wife had asked me what I wanted for Christmas, and so I said I would love love this this book. And just before, uh, just on Black Friday, uh, these this this book became part of a deal with some some other books. Now this is uh, the Westminster Confession, which is a recent uh, edition, and it came out last year uh, by Banner of Truth, and this contains the the Westminster Confession of Faith. Uh, it also contains the larger and shorter catechisms, the Directory for Public Worship, and also the various different uh, documents, historical documents, the National Covenant uh, pertaining to to Scotland and the Solemn League and Covenant and, and, and various bits and bobs like that. But this also came in a bundle, uh, this was a really good deal, uh, with, with a few other books which we'll also look at, which are, well, I've lost one of them, and there it is, it's down here. So it also came with the, the Confessing the Faith book, which is a, uh, a, a reader's guide to the, the, the Westminster Confession. It also came with the study guide that goes with that. Uh, so this, the, the Confessing the Faith is by Chad Van Dixon, you can see on there. And then you've got the, the, the study guide, which was, was put together by his wife. And also it came with these two little booklets, the, the larger and shorter catechisms of the Westminster Assembly. Now this cost, I think it was around about £21 for, for all these books. Now it's a really without a good deal because that book alone is worth around about £17 or £18, pounds, probably around about £20. And the Confessing the, the Faith hardcover is around about the same price. So to get that for £21 was a really good value. I'm not sure whether it uh, is still available in a bundle like that. I know it was uh, recently but it had gone up to around about £27. So even at that price it's still a really good value. So let's have a quick look at these different books. I'll just move these out of the way for a second and then we can look at this uh, this edition. Our Banner of Truth books are all, the hardcover ones, are all Smithsone, so sort of Smithsone. And these books are always lovely. Uh, this is a hardcover book, it's around about 800 and something pages. Let me have a quick look up there. Well, 600, sorry, I do apologise. 650 odd pages. But it's printed on really good paper, I would say, with a dust jacket and then the very classy design on the, the hardcover, the cloth bound hardcover. But really, really well done. And it contains the, the Westminster Confession in its entirety, um, all the articles that introduce it, and then we've got like they say each article with the with the full text, and then the great thing about this is the scriptural proofs for the for the for the, each article are in written in full in uh, the, under in the following paragraphs. Now, if it um, Unless it, it quotes a, a full chapter, which will just give you the reference for the full chapter of the, the scripture that they are discussing. Obviously, it's, it would become too much to print that. But where there are a few verses, it prints them in full. So you've got that. It's, it's really, really well done. Really clear, thick uh, paper. So you've got the confession. Oops, sorry. Just lift that up. I can see where we're going with that. And then we've got in there... The, the larger and shorter catechisms in the same format. Uh, really, really well done. Again, with full scriptural proofs. Uh, the shorter catechism there. Into the wonderful, um, wonderful opening statement of that, which I'll just read there. What is the chief end of man? Uh, man's chief end is to glorify God and to enjoy him forever. And then underneath you've got your, your scriptural proofs again there. But in the back of the book, towards the back, sorry, I'm just uh, fighting with the dust jacket there. In the back of the book we have uh, the Sum of Saving Knowledge, which is a sort of a, a, a summary of what's been discussed in the, in the Confession. Uh, so it's a very sort of, very sort of evangelistic tool in many ways. Uh, then we've got the historical documents, the National Covenant, uh, which was signed, uh, the Confession of Faith of the Kirk of Scotland. 
and then the Solemn League of Co and Covenant, which is just after that, uh, which was uh, signed uh, during the sort of the height of the the English or the Civil War, English Civil War, and then we've got the Directory for Public Worship, uh, which is really handy to have. Um, so there we go. How to how to do church in a, in a Presbyterian way, the form of church government, Presbyterian church government, and then after that we've got the directory for family worship, which is sort of uh, sort of private devotions, Bible reading. Um, interesting. They've got articles like the head of the family is to take care that none of the family withdraw himself from any part of family worship. So you've got these wonderful, wonderful articles that have been written and still true today. Um, and a really, really nice book. Uh, really, really nice book. I say 650 odd pages long and really, really lovely. So I do have the confessions and things in various separate books. But it's nice to have this all in one volume with the scripture references. And yeah, I thoroughly recommend that. So that's the first one. So if you're a Presbyterian... And even if you're not, these, these books are great uh, teaching for doctrine and things like that. I mean, as a general rule of thumb for sort of reformed uh, people, uh, the statements in here are, are very, very sound. I mean, unless you're a Baptist, which you will probably uh, disagree with, the, uh, with the, you know, the, the baptism of infants section in there. But certainly read them, read, read them and, and you will be edified, I'm, I'm sure. So that's the first one. Now moving on to the the Confessing the Faith book. Now this is just concerned solely with the uh, the Westminster Confession itself, so the, the actual Confession of Faith. And it is a reader's guide. Now I've been reading this sort of devotionally. This is by a guy called Chad Van Dixhorn. And you see there, again, this is in the red sort of cloth bound. Again, really nice. Smithstone, as was the other volume. And it is really, really good. I've been reading through this since, uh, since the turn of the year. And what we have is we have the each article, we have the historic text on the left hand side, and then the modern version of the the confession. So if you're struggling with the old English, you can find a, a, an updated version there. And then underneath we have the scriptural proofs, but just the abbreviations to follow. So it's a good one to use in conjunction with your, your Westminster Confession book. And then we have sort of a, a reading that sort of explains sort of devotionally explains as well. So it's a good read book to read for devotions. And it is really, really good. I must admit, I'm enjoying reading through this. And I could thoroughly recommend it. Again, this book's around about, it's about 500 pages maybe. 479, 480 something, 484 pages I think. But certainly a really good read. And it would be great for studying with, with a small group or or one-on-one -on -one study, especially if you're using it with the with the We Study Guide that, that goes with it, which is written by Chad's wife. Now this is again a really good um, book to have. There's questions about the confession, so you read this first and then, and then study this together, talk about it, discuss, and it's really, really good. So that's just a, a glue bind, but even so, it's really, really nice. Uh, we book even even in and of itself the study guide so that so the last couple of things we got for this bundle were these two um the shorter catechism and the larger catechism and these are great for just putting in your pocket the wee sort of uh, booklets stapled booklets uh with uh, the confession the shorter catechism the larger catechism of the westminster assembly and they're great for just you know taking with you somewhere if you're doing a class if you're teaching people there we go and it does have uh, the scripture references underneath in that one uh, I think they're printed in full yes it looks like it uh, and then we said the larger catechism that that's done by banner of truth themselves now this is done by uh, free Presbyterian publications in Glasgow and this is the larger catechism I'm not sure whether the uh, banner of truth produced this but they certainly use this as one I got sent from them I ordered direct from there their um, websites so this is what I got so obviously they, they can't do one themselves so yeah so this has got uh, the scripture references but only the abbreviations but great to sort of take around with you if you want to study this with somebody or you want to carry it around and 
yeah, really, really handy. So that's that's the lot. I can certainly recommend this. Uh, I do check out Banner of Truth books. I've waxed lyrical about their their bindings before. They're great to sort of books to sit on your shelf, and because they're Smithsonian, so well put together that they will last for 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 years and years of of quite quite sustained use. I I imagine. So yeah. So I hope this has been uh, interesting and informative and. Uh, We'll be back uh, very soon with another Bible or book review. And until then, God bless you. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.